Hello everyone, this is Vijay Lakshmi from Informatica Technical Support. I am here to present a video KB on enabling and disabling the task approval process in IDD. So the agenda here is what is task approval process in IDD, why do we need that and how to configure it and a summary of the approval process. So basically IDD follows two step approval process by default. So in the sense when a user enters some data it has to go to another user for approval and after that user approves the data the data is inserted to the BO. So it is a two step approval process where the data has to be approved in two stages. So let's see some use cases where you need to enable task approval process and where you need to disable task approval process. The first use case would be the business needs to restrict the users from directly inserting or updating the records in the base object. Consider you have a data steward and a manager and uh, the data steward has the right or privilege to only create the record and uh, it has to be sent to the manager for approval in order to get the data inserted into the system. So in that case the data steward needs the send for approval button only to be enabled and after he sends the data for approval manager approves it and the data is sent to the system. So this use case shows about enabling the task approval process. So in this case you need send for approval button to be enabled for the data steward and save button to be disabled for the data steward. The second use case would be the business needs a group of users to directly insert or update the record in the base object. So this is like direct insertion. You are giving all the privileges, example you have a data steward and you are giving all the privileges to the data steward. So the data steward can directly insert or update a record without any approval process. In this case you don't need the send for approval button to be enabled. So save button should be enabled and send for approval button should be disabled. So these are all the use cases that shows about the where the task approval process is significant and where it is not needed. So let's see how to configure both the use cases in MDM. The first use case is enabling the approval process in IDD. So which means that you have to enable only send for approval button so in this case you have some prerequisites that needs to be met. The first prerequisite is you have to enable the state management for the corresponding BO. So let me show my con uh, base object configurations in MDM. So in MDM I have two base objects customer and organization. So for the customer BO I have the state management enabled under advanced properties. So this is the first prerequisite. The next prerequisite is you must have the SAM privileges in hub for the corresponding role. So how do we configure this? Basically you must need read, create and update privileges for the base object, read and execute privileges for the subject area and create and execute privileges for the default task type. So what is default task type in IDD? By default we have review no approve as a default task type in IDD. It can also be configurable depending upon the business requirements. So first uh, let me show you how do we enable these privileges in SAM. So before that let me show you the roles and users that I have created. So I have two users, user1 and user2 and I have two roles, test role and organization role. So the test role has the user user1 so user1 is assigned to the role test role and uh, user2 is assigned to the role organization role under roles tab for the role test so this role is for enabling the task approval process so when you log in to IDD application using this role you must see only send for approval button enabled and the save button should be disabled so for the test role base object read create and update privileges must be enabled so my base object is customer so for the customer I have read create and update privileges enabled here 
for the subject area read and execute privileges must be enabled so IDD app one is my IDD application so customer SA is my subject area so for the subject area read and execute privileges must be enabled default task type create and execute so by default the task type that is defined for any IDD application is review no approve so you must need create and execute privileges for the default task type corresponding to the subject area so these are all the prerequisites for enabling the send for approval button in your IDD application so let's see the IDD application now so this is a configuration tool and uh, let me show the default task type review no approve is the default task type so how do you identify the default task type this button will be checked create task type by default on approval so this can be changed depending upon your business requirements it's not necessary to have review no approve if you have review no approve as a default task type your IDD application has a two-step approval process so these are my subject areas customer and this is my IDD application I'm logging in using my first role where only send for approval button needs to be enabled in the data tab I'm creating a customer record applying it you can see that only send for approval button is enabled and save button is disabled here so when you say send for approval a new task will be created so this is about enabling the send for approval button alone in IDD application and disabling the save button now let's see how do we enable only save button so this is nothing but disabling the approval process in which you need to enable only save button and the send for approval button should be disabled in that case prerequisites would be your state management must be disabled but there are some business uh, scenarios where you, you are using state management in that case the SAM privileges must be met like you have to have read create and update privileges for the base object read create and update privileges for the subject area and you have to remove all the privileges for the default task type when you give these SAM privileges you will have the save button only enabled even though you have state management enabled so let me show the state management and the SAM privileges in hub that I have configured so I have created another role called org role which is meant for enabling only save button so the first thing is state management must be disabled so organization is my BO state management must be disabled to enable save button in case you wanted state management to be enabled also depending upon your business you can have the SAM privileges enabled so consider I need state management to be enabled in my business in that case you need to give these SAM privileges to make the save button to be enabled read create and update privileges for the BO so this is my BO read create and update privileges for the BO has to be given next is read create and update privileges for the subject area so my subject area is organization SA so under my IDD application this is my subject area I am giving read create and update privileges for the subject area and you have to remove all the privileges for the default task type so as I have shown you before my default task type is review no approve corresponding to the subject area so 
for the organization SA subject area, I have removed all the privileges for the default task type review no approve. So after you do this, let me show you the IDD application. I am logging in using the second role which is assigned to the user to user. So here this is our subject area. I am creating a new subject area. Applying the data. So you here you can see only the save button is enabled and the send for approval button is disabled. So basically whenever you disable state management for a base object you will see the send for approval button is disabled. In case you need your business to have the state management you can uh, set the SAM privileges that I have shown you just now which will make the save button alone to be enabled. First option is either disable the state management, second option or if you want state management in your business, enable all the privileges that I have mentioned in the video KB just now. So this is about disabling the task approval process. There are some points to note, after you set all these privileges in BO, you have to validate your ORS, you have to clear the cache in your IDD application and then you need to redeploy the IDD application in order to make the changes come into effect. Um, so th these are all the points to note. You can also refer IDD implementation guide in order to set these privileges and you can also refer the KB articles 145816 and 146156 for your reference. So these two KBs show how to how will tell you how, how do you enable only send for approval and how do you enable only save buttons in your IDD application based on your business requirements. So thank you for listening to this video KB. We would love to hear from you. Please go to these links and uh, provide feedback about this video KB. Your feedback is valuable to us and it will help us serve you better. Thanks for listening to this video KB and I hope this is this will be useful to you. Thanks a lot.